Hey everybody, it's Jonathan from Tech Savvy Nerds, and today I'm going to be showing you how to restore a newer iTunes backup on an older firmware, such as restoring an iTunes backup of iOS 5.1 on iOS 5.0.1. Now, if you haven't seen my video about how to downgrade from 5.1 to 5.0.1, please go ahead and take a look at that in the video description below. So first, you're going to need to jailbreak your device. And you also need to be on the newer firmware, the firmware that has the backup. So, once you've done that, uh, you're going to need to download and install iFile. And open that up. So, we're going to go to System, Library, Core Services, Scroll down until you get to systemversion.plist. Go property list viewer. Okay, so you're going to need to change the product version and the product build version. And you need to find out what the product build version is of the firmware you're going to be downgrading to. So for iOS 5.0.1, that is 9. A405. And then 5.0.1. Okay, so click on done. Okay, guys, so after you've done that, you're going to need to reboot. Okay, guys, so as you can see, it is booting up. And it will actually look like it's restoring because it's overwriting some files on the system. So as you see right there, it looks as if it's restoring. Okay. Okay guys, so now I'm on iTunes on my Mac. And as you see, iTunes also thinks that software version is 5.9.1 and that the build is 9A405. So I'm going to go ahead and back this up to my computer. Okay guys, so now my device is all backed up, and I'm going to restore to 5.0.1. Okay guys, so I'm plugging in my iPod Touch right now. There we go. So I'm going to restore from the backup of this backup I made today. Uh, okay, so now the backup has been restored to my iPod Touch. So thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please like it. Uh, if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.